Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to a speed build. So this is actually a house for the foster family. It's for Allie's household and I wasn't originally going to do this right just yet, but I don't know. Um, some of you guys were commenting how the apartment's really cramped and they should get a house and it just really made me want to build them a house like sooner because I kept thinking of them having this cute little house in Windenburg. I don't know why because you wouldn't really think that that's their style to be honest. Um, I really don't feel like that I don't know. I don't really feel like that's something they would go for. I feel like Allie is like I don't I don't I don't even know you guys. I keep saying I don't know but you guys know how she is like she likes to do her makeup. She's supposed to be like a beauty guru kind of girl, like she's in the social media career. Um, and I would feel like she would want to stay in the city and um, maybe move into a house in the city, um, but still s stay in the city. And um, I didn't really picture Windenburg for her, but the more I thought of her in like a family way, I was thinking maybe Dylan really loved the style of Windenburg and that was like somewhere he always dreamed about living and he kind of like told Allie about it and stuff like that and she ended up feeling like maybe it would be a really perfect area for her family and it would be peaceful and a pretty view or pretty pretty views I should say because <laughs> I feel like Windenburg has a lot of peaceful pretty views like the where their house is they're surrounded by just this really nice area that I feel like would be great to raise kids in so I'm just really excited that I decided to go with this also I don't usually build um, houses with this kind of style so I mean it's different for me but I have done it before um, I've actually done one I forget the name of it but it is on my channel and there was like a little swimming area on the side of the house and I did something totally different than I normally would have done with that house and it was like in the same type of style but I loved that one probably even more than this um, I like the size of this one better and I like how there's balconies as you guys can see but I don't know, that was definitely my favorite house built in this style. Um, but other than that, I really haven't built, ma built many houses in this style. And um, yeah, so I just kind of did what I knew, I guess. <laughs> um, and the backyard, the backyard is something that is one of my favorite areas of the house. Um, I really like how uh, you see the bushes around. I just like how it's like there's a path there and then the bushes don't connect there. I don't know because they can like leave their house in the back if they want to to go somewhere. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. And just because there's like this nice walkway around their house, that's why I wanted to leave that open and have this like open kind of feel but also a little bit closed in. Um, so, okay. I'm going to talk about the inside for a second, even though this is like early on. <laughs> um, basically, oh, also by the way, if this is slightly off, um, like the voiceover. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's not, like It might be fine. I mean, we're going to see when I'm editing, so I don't even know why I'm talking about this. But <laughs> sometimes my voiceover is like slightly off and I have to like adjust it. So I mean, you guys may notice nothing. But anyways, that just happens sometimes if I have like, um, if I have parts where I cut out and then put a uh, fade in and fade out transition. Okay, anyways, <laughs> that probably makes no sense. Um, so we're going to talk about the inside of the house for a second. So you guys will see that the upstairs has way more than the downstairs. And actually, the only room that really has a lot of stuff is the kids room. So as you guys can see, they did have 30,000 simoleons in the beginning. And that's just because they took all the furniture from their apartment. They had it um, because Molly has also moved out and she lives with Caleb now like I told you guys I was gonna do Caleb and his sister so um she lives there I feel like that's just I, I really feel like she would feel most at home there now that she's a vampire I feel like that is I feel like it'll be really good for her to live there um so yeah then I moved out Allie's family afterwards so they got all the furniture so I went ahead and sold all that and then we had more money so I didn't use any cheats or anything like that and I didn't want to because I know that Dylan has a good job. So basically, the inside, um, because I went all out on the outside, uh, the money started getting lower and lower. And I was totally okay with that because I had kind of an idea in my head where I was just going to build as much as I can until the money gets really low and then just stop. 
and have it kind of be like, you know, they just moved in and they're still buying new furniture and just moving things in, stuff like that. So I feel like for a Let's Play, it would make sense. So um, this is on the gallery, but it's called Not Finished because it's not finished. And <laughs> I was like, I want to put this on the gallery in case you guys want it um, and you guys can add to it, but I don't want to like name it something and then you guys are like, this is not done. Like if some of you guys see it on the gallery but don't see the build. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I titled it not finished. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, the downstairs, I do that last. Um, no, I'm not happy with the downstairs. Like the floor plan is all good, but the furniture, that's when we were getting real low on money because I just, I don't know, I wanted the kids room to just be all out. So I did everything I could with that room. Um, and then kind of like very minimal on the parents room and then just pretty much no decorating in the bathroom, just the necessities, necessities in the kitchen, a table that I don't like. <laughs> yeah, you guys will see all that, but it's okay. You know, they're kind of like moving in. And um, like I said, Dylan has a good job. So he's going to be bringing in most of the money, which is awesome. I'm super excited about that. <laughs> it's so nice when you have your sim marry a sim or just become boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever it is. Um, they're not married yet, you know. <laughs> um, and they already have a good paying job and are like uh, in, they're further, further enough in it that they make good money and it's like so much I don't know, it's so much easier. I'm just like, yes, <laughs> because a lot of times, you know, we got to work our way up and stuff like that. But, you know, you score when you find a sim that is just in the world, your sim falls in love with them, and then they got money <laughs> and they're making good money. And you're like, yes, this is great. Because I mean, um, Allie is mainly going to be working from home. Sometimes I'll send her to work, but she does have two kids and I really want her to be home as much as she can to take care of them. Also, uh, her whole like makeup vanity thing, you know, um, we didn't end up having enough for that. I could have kept it. It was in the inventory, but I did sell it cause I just wanted to see how much money they could have if I sold everything. Um, so she doesn't have the makeup vanity, but I will get her that again as soon as they can because she needs that. That's her thing. I want her to have that. I want her to be able to um, play with different makeup looks again. So I haven't really been having her use that much in the last few parts of the foster family anyways. And I don't know, I really want her to use that and just have a different makeup look all the time. Cause you know, you just give your Sims a makeup look and create a Sim and just like leave it. Well, for her, I just want her to use the vanity all the time, switch it up. <laughs> um, so I think that's what we're going to do for her and it'll be super fun. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm really excited for the next part of the foster family because I mean, if you guys watch that series, it's going to be so nice for Allie and her family to have their own home. And I feel like it's so homey feeling and I'm just so excited for them and I'm so glad that I could build them a house of this size um it's not huge or anything but it's not tiny either like I, I mean like I said I wanted a cute little home from that I mean it's it, it's little but it's like because it's two floors it seems not so cramped so you know there's space downstairs it's super nice um you guys will see at the very end of the video I go ahead and add in a little room that's empty and that's actually gonna be like Allie's area like office area for her working and stuff like that so I think that'll be really nice so as of right now you know she don't even got a computer you guys so sad but as soon as Dylan goes to work and comes back we'll be able to afford a computer so that's the plus side so yes <laughs> um so that'll be super nice. And then we'll get her working on her social media, get her up there. I definitely want, I really, really want this family to be a family that is successful with money, not like rich or anything like that, but just like, you know, they're doing well and they can afford things and eventually move into an even bigger home. I don't want them to be struggling. I know sometimes when you're switching back and forth between households for series, it can be hard to get to spend enough time with the family where they can get a good income going because I keep switching back and forth. So I'm not focusing on one household enough, but because Dylan is already doing so well, I feel like it's going to be so much easier to get Allie up in her career 
And yeah, I mean, I want to go to work with Dylan because then I'm pretty sure he'll get a promotion if I just go with him one more time. Um, we don't, we can't go with him all the time because there's like so much going on, but I definitely want to go with him and get him that promotion and then that'll be amazing. So yeah, I'm excited and we're almost coming to an end and I know it seems like we shouldn't be, but like I said, the downstairs is really not much. <laughs> um, but I'm so glad that I had time to build this first of all. Let me tell you guys, I love having three series, um, three to four would be fine. Four would also be totally fine with me because I would, I was used to like six a lot of the time. Um, but having three right now is so nice to feel like you have time to do things for your different series, you know, building houses for them, stuff like that. You know, I would love to be able to have the time to build more houses for my characters in my series instead of sometimes just grabbing one from the gallery. You know what I mean? Because I've started doing that more. Like, uh, I haven't built my own houses that much for the foster family. I have a couple times, but considering it's on season four, I feel like I haven't built that many houses for them. And then for the foster family, I, um, I just want to build almost all the houses they live in. That would be amazing. Because, like, for 16 and Pregnant, um, the first home they officially owned, like, it lived in a, they lived in an apartment for a while, but the first home they owned, I built it. And then Single Mom Life, I built the first home that they moved into after the shelter. And I just, I don't know, something about, like, building your own house for a series that you love makes it even better for some reason. I don't know why, but, <laughs> um, yeah, even though sometimes, like, my builds, they're not, like, as great as some of the ones I see on the gallery, as long as it like fits the family's needs and it's cute enough, then I just really enjoy doing that for my series. So I can't wait to add more to this house and um, as we play, they'll save up some more money and then yeah, so you guys will see. Um, they're gonna get real low in money real soon. So just just wait for it. <laughs> I can't wait till Dylan goes to work and they get some more money back. Um, so yeah, we're coming to an end. We're going to go into pictures, you guys. So I hope you guys like the house and can kind of imagine what it'll look like when it's actually fully furnished. There's going to be three bathrooms, which will be really nice. One of them is not done, but you know, it will be. <laughs> so yeah, I think this will be super nice once it's all done. And I have so many different ideas I want to do for this house. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys all so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. You gotta listen up. Listen up, there's not a thing that I can't get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much How can I tell you what I wanna do? I never needed you to give me things I never needed gifts or diamond rings All I ever need, I need, I All I ever need is here with you Shine me